So we have our first four. Everyone says I love you. Now I'm going to walk in chromatically into my third of my G. And this is a nice little uh, inversion here. Middle finger of the seventh fret, sixth string, first of the fourth string, fifth fret, and ring at the third string. And I can walk in chromatically. So everyone says I love you. But just so what I'm singing, but just I can have that little bass in the background. But guess what they sing it for? Now this is my G seventh. But I'm gonna take the fifth of the scale and sharp it. That's my augmented seventh. So the raised fifth. So that gives me a chord that's gonna resolve to my four chord, my subdominant. And it's going to resolve by what we call chromatic resolution. D, D sharp, E. And the whole chord is in chromatic. Just the, the tone there. So D, D sharp, E. But So everyone says I love you. But just what they say it for, I never. And then that'll, that'll lead to my C. So... Everyone says I love you, but just there's my G. What they say for G augmented seventh. I never walk that into there. Here's a nice little C fifth fret with the second, third, and fourth, and I'm just barring that and moving my first finger in. So, but just what they say. my C7 with a flat 9 in it. So that's 2nd string, 5th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, my middle of the 5th string, 4th fret, and my first finger of the 3rd string at the 3rd fret. So but just what they say you with our next four chords. So practice those, get all eight down before you go on.